I am Rodrigo Alvarez, Senior Specialist Solution Architect at Red Hat. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to simplify network policy management by integrating Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security with your CICD pipeline. Here at my ACS Network Graph dashboard, ACS is reporting that I don't have any network policy in place, right? Which means all access are allowed. So in this scenario, all the deployments can access all other deployments. So if an attacker gets access to one of these applications, let's say asset cache running on my front end, front end image space, the attacker can quickly access all other sensitive deployments, um, for example, a Visa processor that runs on my payment namespace. And we don't want that, right? So a simple way of fixing that is generating network policies at runtime. Um, there you go. So, but my question now is how can we generate the same network policies, but instead of runtime uh, from your pipeline, and then you're going to make sure that your application is going to land whatever you want to deploy that in a multi-cluster scenario with network policy already from day one, right? So here I'm using uh, OpenShift pipelines, but keep in mind that you can use the same workflow in any other pipeline tool, right? So let me just run it, and then I will explain step by step. So first, uh, the workflow starts with pulling the application manifest from the Git repository. And then uh, once it's done, it will start generating the network policies. So this feature is included on the ROC CTL CLI. And it was developed by Red Hat in partnership with the developers of the NPGOD project, right? So once these those network policies are generated, um, it will get committed and pushed back to the Git repository into a new branch called NetPol. Here at my Git repository, now I do have two branches, right? The main and netpool. So on the netpool, I do have the new changes uh, in place. Let me just show you uh, pretty quickly. So on the netpool files, um, I do have the, you know, the, the specification of the network policies that was generated using our pipeline. And to make sure that's gonna end up on our cluster, um, now I have a Argos D instance running, which is monitoring the main branch, right? Um, and then to make sure that we can have those network policies applied, I need to create a pull request. And then of course, in a production environment, someone would come here um, and basically make sure that those changes are okay. And probably you're gonna have a approval process in between, right? But for demo purposes, I will just, you know, merge this pull request right away. And there you go. So now on my main branch, I do have the changes um, in place. So going back to my Argo CD instance, I will refresh manually. And now, as you can see, my current sync status is out of sync. So I do have some network policies in place that are not uh, applied yet. Uh, and so basically you can do that automatically, but for this demo itself, uh, I choose to do it manually so we can see the, the process. So I'm gonna uh, sync manually. Yeah, so uh, looks like that the net network policies are applied uh, as we do expect. So going back to my ACS dashboard here, if I refresh here, you're gonna see the uh, ACS now is reporting uh, that our applications are isolated by network policy rules, right? Uh, so basically this workflow provides a powerful end-to-end -end solution for automated network policy management, allowing you to deploy applications with a built-in micro segmentation like from day one, right? And with this, I finished my demo. Thank you very much.